Well, again, welcome and thank you for joining us here today. Um, we're very excited. This is the state's first ever highway-based uh, bus rapid transit station in the state of Illinois. Uh, very excited to provide this service, which is fast and frequent and very reliable uh, along the highways. And quite frankly, we believe that this is the future of public transportation in Chicagoland. The I-90 Barrington Road Station is a 170 space park and ride lot on both sides of the tollway. We've got two inline stations, one in each direction, which allows our express bus to pick up riders without ever exiting the highway. Very exciting, very safe, and quite frankly, this is again the new wave of public transportation in Chicagoland. We do have this great extensive uh, pedestrian bridge over the tollway, which is a very convenient and safe way for people to get to both sides and get to their vehicles quickly and safely. We've got two tunnels that pass underneath uh, and allow commuters to get to both the eastbound and westbound buses with ease. Our vision for the region is to connect people and give them an opportunity for what they need. By 2040, this I-90 quarter will have as many jobs as the Chicago Loop. And we at PACE want to be able to work with those people to get them to work. Achieving our goal starts here. With, the type, with this type of public transit, transportation service you'll see in this station along the entire I-90 quarter We've added eight new services, improved service on five existing routes along I-90. We've opened three new park and ride lots, improving services, or improving facilities, excuse me, in Elgin, Schaumburg, and Rosemont. We've added a new fleet of 40-foot express buses with Wi-Fi and USB charging ports. There are one located on both sides of the tollway, and we'll be giving tours on those uh, right after the ceremony. It's a little known fact that PACE um, provides ridership to tens of thousands of people throughout Chicagoland every day. And it does so on a footprint the size of Connecticut. And it happens to be one of North America's largest bus services. Not only that, but PACE has been out in front on so many issues. I'll just take one. For instance, you know, even before the Americans with Disabilities Act ever came into being, PACE made themselves accessible to folks with disabilities. And that is such a key part of their mission of being universally accessible by the community. So I'm so happy to be here celebrating not only this inline transit station, but what PACE and, it leaders and its leadership does every single day for mass transit in the area. This is an amazing, amazing example of what happens when people from different uh, communities and different parts of government cooperate with each other to leverage their resources for the common good. In this very station, we have resources from the tollway, from PACE, from the Federal Transit Administration, which provided resources for the buses. Of course, we have Hoffman Estates and Mayor McLeod putting up money for the parking lot, which is going to hold about 170 cars, as well as providing access on both sides of the expressway to this beautiful station. And of course, we have IDOT and other agencies that help to ease the uh, burden of regulations and so forth to make this as quick make this project come about as quickly as possible that is a good thing and it's for a good cause which is mass transit mass transit allows for less congested freeways cleaner air less traffic and again universal access to transportation this is so cool what's happening here today and what a what a wonderful venue to have a press conference. I've never done a press conference where you have the traffic coming and going. It's really neat. And you could just stand here staring at the traffic all day, but um, what it's really accomplishing is something uh, much greater than that, which is 
um, celebrating how people are going to be able to use this station to get to Rosemont and other parts along the way. And people are going to go to Rosemont, catch the L, and then go downtown, and vice versa. And that is really neat. This Barrington Road interchange is at the heart of our Jane Adams Memorial Highway. And it represents the heart of everything that we do at the Illinois Tollway, to be the best toll agency we can be for the state of Illinois and for this region. And to do that, we strive to collaborate with others, to innovate wherever possible, and above all, to be of service to our customers and the communities that reside along our system. This $68 million interchange and transit station is a unique project that reflects our strong commitment to working in partnership with others. We worked in collaboration with PACE, with IDOT, with Hoffman Estates, and also with St. Alexis Hospital to build an interchange that reduces congestion, provides new access, and accommodates transit. We worked hand in hand with Hoffman Estates and their leaders to create a full access interchange that improves the quality of life for those who travel and use the transportation system in this area. And we invested with transit to provide accommodations for PACE bus service throughout the entire I-90 corridor. And innovation is a hallmark that we treasure at the tollway. The Barrington Road interchange has an, abundant, uh, an abundance of innovative features that provide greater mobility in the area. It is the first tollway interchange to feature an inline transit station. And it is also the first single point urban interchange on the tollway system and the only known single point urban interchange to include a transit station. The new design helps move large volumes of traffic through limited amounts of space safely and efficiently. The new Barrington Road interchange delivers a coordinated solution for the regional transportation network. It provides seamless access for commuters to transit services as well as accommodations for pedestrians and people who ride their bikes. It expands access to employment, business and retail centers in the area, and it helps to foster greater economic development across the entire region and it improves emergency response and transport time to nearby St. Alexis Medical Center, saving time that could make a difference between life and death for some patients. Today we are seeing the results of what can be accomplished for our customers with a shared vision for our regional transportation network. Once again, thank you to all of you who made this possible, and we look forward to working together on other projects as we move forward. Obviously, this has been a great partnership with the village, with transit, but also, you know, it's a, 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 we are looking at a way as there's expansion of folks moving into the suburbs. And I have to thank Al Larson for his service on the PACE board, Mayor Rod Craig, who's also serving on the Metro board, Mayor McLeod, who have recognized that there's needs and access for folks to get to and from work. As you see, more and more people are moving west, so we need to be able to get them from point A to point B. And this is a clear example of how working together, all municipalities are able, and state government, and our transportation agencies that can take a vision and make it reality. So I want to thank all of you in the room who have played a part of this uh, because it's key. We see traffic congestion keep growing. We need to encourage people to use public transit and continue to use it. And as they use it and increase it, our, our representation on various boards can fight for more funding to make sure more access to public transportation is needed. Because we do have a lot of great jobs, light facilities, business parks within these communities that can, have, can get access to that. It's here. It's done. <laughs> this is an amazing moment for the Northwest Suburban Area, including Hoffman Estates. We had we started the Northwest Corridor study, what, a couple of decades ago, Al, to try to bring more mass transit out to the suburbs. Original idea was a rail line, the star line. But I think this, in, in many ways, is an even better um, system. It's less expensive, and you can modify routes, which is hard to do on a train line. Really need to thank uh, everybody who was involved in this project. This shows that government does work. <laughs> 
We had cooperation between the Tollway Pays, the Village of Hoffman Estates, the Illinois Department of Transportation, our local hospital, St. Alexius, contributed uh, $1 million to the cost of the interchange. I know we had some frightening moments in Hoffman Estates, and we spent $2.5 million on preliminary and final engineering without any assurance that the interchange would be built. This is just something because we need to be able to move people to their jobs, to their homes. And this is going to be a tremendous asset for this area in moving people. The beauty of the full interchange now is that you can come from the west, get off, and you can get to the hospital. Emergency vehicles can do that. And that's something that uh, our major focus, obviously, in local government is public health and safety. That's our mission. And this certainly helps us and our fire department and public uh, responders to be able to do that. So, In a sense, my first job today is to tell you that our presentation is over. We have celebrated the opening of this marvelous facility. And now we're going to move to someplace a little different. We're going to move to recognizing Mike Bolton. His actual job was in planning, in strategic services, and he had prepared himself for this very well before he came to Pace. A lot of people don't know he was the director of three different agencies around the United States before he came to Pace. He had traveled extensively around the country looking and seeing how things were done and adopting and integrating best practices into his thinking. We spent three long days riding buses and riding trains and trams and learning about all manner of ways to integrate and create connectivity for various modes of transportation. And Mike integrated all of those into his way of thinking. And this was part of his job. He had to be a visionary. He was responsible specifically for long-term strategic planning, for scheduling, for doing the market research, for helping develop the pace graphics, for the GIS system, what later became the intelligent bus system. All of these things were brought to pace by Mike Bolton. And he starts talking about taking the system, which we already had up and running on Interstate 55, and working with the toll authority and doing a similar program out here in the Jane Adams. And he starts drawing pictures and explaining how it's going to work and the advantages to everybody. And then at one point he finally got to it and he said, and we're going to build a bridge across the interstate. And I said, Mike, we pay you to have a vision, not a hallucination. I don't know if that's going to work. And here we are today on his vision, making it come to life for all the people that it's going to serve in this community and communities over the horizon in each direction. So in a moment, we're going to adjourn to a plaque. This is a pretty unusual thing to do a plaque for someone in a public facility like this, but I can't imagine anybody more than Mike Bolton who deserves it. This is his idea come to life. Three, four. Yeah, hey.